Hey guys, Jim Chester coming to you live. I am here with Brian Dooley. Uh, Brian Dooley just got off the stage, so he's got some hot topics to talk to you about. And we are here at New Beginnings. This place is rocking today. We have, uh, this New Beginnings group has been here over 30 years. And this is my first one, so thank you for inviting me out here, Jim Dubell. But Brian Dooley, tell us a little bit about what you're doing and okay. at Sherman and right. what you uh, did up on stage today. Um, starting out, I'm a, a professor at Sherman College, and so what I teach is chiropractic philosophy two, which is a class on the 33 principles, chiropractic history, case history, patient education, and media communication, and then I assist in a few. So I'm busy down there. <laughs> well, that's a bit, that's a that's a big load to carry, man. So let's uh, let's parcel those down a little bit okay. and about the philosophy first. Sure. Philosophy two is a class about the 33 principles. Oftentimes when you talk to students of other schools, they've heard of a green book that it's in a library. What we want people to understand is that chiropractically we have lane lines that say do this and you're doing chiropractic. And it, and it resides in the 33 principles. So we have a class, it's three times a week for an hour, that is, is devoted to those 33 principles because it's not enough. If you go to any chiropractic group and you say, what are the chiropractic principles? They're going to say, I know number six, time. So they all know that one. They don't know any of the other ones so often, and as chiropractors, those are our rules of engagement. So we should use those, and that's what we're trying to do at Sherman College, to say this is what chiropractic is. And it's not about adding other stuff. It's not about good or bad. It's just about is or isn't. And if it, if it adheres to those principles, then it's chiropractic. And if it doesn't, then, then, then let other people do it that are more educated in it than we. And you, you said something there. There's a big special word there. You said Sherman. Mm -hmm. But let's focus on Sherman just for a moment and sure. tell me what is happening and what's so special about what's happening at Sherman in South Carolina. Well, right now it's real exciting because we have a $16 million renovation going on. And so we are updating our building. Our philosophy has been great. They learn how to adjust and all these things. But the students do deserve an environment that is commensurate of the program that we're putting together at Sherman. And what Sherman's doing right now is building, it's going to have a new student center. It's going to have an auditorium so we can have graduations back on campus now. We can bring the public in with the auditorium to, to better uh, spread the chiropractic message. And, and what I love about Sherman is it is LACVS, Locate, Analyze, and Correct the Vertebral Subluxation. That's our message to the students. That's what we do in our health center. And um, that's chiropractic. And what I love about Sherman, and I am a graduate, so I am biased, but what I like about it is the family feel of it. I, as, a, as an instructor, I don't see, if you're my student, you're not a student to me. You're a colleague that just needs to know what I know. And so it's nice to sit down in the cafe with people, and that's where a lot of interesting conversations happen is outside of class, mm -hmm. um, talking to the students. So it's, it's just, it, it's Drs. Cordero and Cohen have really developed and fostered this family atmosphere and um, I love working there every day I live an hour away and people <laughs> like why do you work why do you, why do you drive an hour each way to go to, to work there because of what that because of the place that it is I drive two hours a day but don't tell them that <laughs> <laughs> so you said that you teach a couple other classes yes. Let, let's dive into the next class that you help with chiropractic history so we'll talk chiropractic history starting with what's kind of what's what's been the idea of healthcare throughout the years taking it right up to dd when he discovers chiropractic and then taking it right up to present day the important thing about history it's not just a story you know it's it's why we are where we are students forever will ask well why do we got to take a biochemistry class why do we got to take a micropathology class why don't we all just get along in the profession? <laughs> and so the, you find those answers in history. And if we can find out why it happened in the beginning, then maybe we don't make the same mistakes again. You know, doing the same thing, expecting different results is insanity. <laughs> and so that's the purpose of a history class is to say this is, um, yeah, this is where we are and why we're there, and then we can change it and be a, an impact in the future. And full circle, we're at New Beginnings, yes. so we're talking about the New Beginnings here in Jersey, and this has been going on for 30 years. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to come here? I love coming here. I mean, I'm from New Jersey. I've been living in South Carolina. I went to school at Clemson starting in 1990, so I've been down there for a long time. Um, I love the opportunity to come back and come home. I have heard of New Beginnings when I was a student. I uh, had heard of it when I started teaching. And then the way that Jim DeBell works is my wife and I were up actually up here for Valentine's Day one time, and he says, let's go to dinner. I said, sure. And so I meet Jim, and he says, why haven't you been at New Beginnings? I'm like, I don't know. And he's like, you have to come. 
And so I said, I'll do it. So I committed to it, and professionally, it's been one of the best decisions I've made. Not because Jim yelled at me, but because <laughs> what I found when I got here. And, and Jim DeBell is one of the most loving people you'll ever meet. And, and, every, and, and like what uh, Cordero and Cohen have started at Sherman, he has here. And it, what he'll say when you come home, that's what he calls it, he says, welcome home. And it always feels like home because we talk chiropractic, T-I-C. And so we talk with the history, we talk with uh, the philosophy, and what I like about it is I can sit in this room and I can hear what other people say and challenge myself to be better. How can I take what they're saying and make myself better uh, in order to create a better world? And that's just it, is when I first met Jim, what he said to me is, welcome to the family, Jimmy. Yeah. And you know, that, that made me feel just like right at home, and I, I, I was like, you know, what can I do to make this, what can I do to help? Sure. And he's like, you know what? Just go out there and do what you do best and right. interview all the people and talk to people about chiropractic and spread right. our message. And let's live outside these four walls with this message of chiropractic. And let's live out these outside these four walls with this message of new beginnings. Absolutely. So let's go full circle on this thing. Let's, and this is throwing you a curveball. Mm -hmm. The first time we met, right. we were at Sherman. Yeah. We, we, were, we were having lunch. Do you remember that? I do remember having lunch because you were in town for our practice success program. Yes. And so, so, yeah, and it was great because I had heard about you, but I didn't really know you well. But, I, you know, your, your Facebook, and if it's on the Internet, it looks good, so we got to use it. So I said, well, let me get this guy to come to Sherman for our practice success program. And for those that don't know, uh, it, we call it the G10 initiative. And what it is is uh, one day a quarter, we suspend classes and even health center operations so that the students on a quarter-by-quarter -quarter basis follow a curriculum of business principles. What can I use to be a better business person? chiropractic school, at least at Sherman, you're going to know how to adjust. You're going to know how to check the spine and analyze the spine, know when to adjust, all those things. But then what do you do? You know, you, you're, you're a chiropractor when someone's laying on your table. Mm -hmm. Every other minute of the day, you're, you're an entrepreneur. You're a business person. And, uh, and so many students, you know, they'll get into an associateship, and not that that's bad, only because they felt there was no other way and they didn't have the confidence. Mm -hmm. And so I love that, yeah, as we're having the conversation, I'm like, I'm buying what this guy's selling. He's perfect for our students. Because they have to know. And you're not a chiropractor, right? I'm not a chiropractor. Yeah, and how cool is that? So you have a layperson that knows the message better than 99% of the chiropractors. And so to use what, what you say from a standpoint of a layperson, it makes it easier for me to communicate. Because so often as chiropractors, we, say we, you know, we, we, we give them chiropractic school. And we don't want to give them chiropractic school. We want to give them chiropractic. And, and, and a lot of times it's easier to hear it from a layperson. And I know that that meant a lot to me to be able to come out to, to the Sherman family, and I, I laid it all on the line, man. I sure. gave those kids everything I had. I emptied the tank. When it was like me off the stage, I was just like, I felt so blessed that I had the opportunity to talk for as long as I did and share everything that I could. I answered every question that, I, that was asked of me, and I, I just felt like a huge win for Jim Chester, but I also felt like a huge win for chiropractic, right. and I felt like a huge win for Sherman at that point. Sure. And now let's talk a little bit about – um, how effective graduates of Sherman come out of school and how successful they are. I hear all the time when they do associate, they're so glad that they're Sherman graduates because that they do know how to adjust. And so we want to make them even more successful with this G10. What G10 means is within 10 years of graduation, they'll be out of their loan debt and hopefully putting money back, uh, saving it for themselves, and then start giving back to the profession. You know, we, we're getting to a point, as you said, New Beginnings has been here 30 years, and Jim will be the first one to tell you that he's not a spring chicken. So who's going to pick it up for Jim? You know, who's picking up for Reggie? Who's picking it up for B.J. Palmer? Who's picking it up for Sid Williams? Who's picking it up for Tom Gilardi? All these giants, well, we're the ones that have to do it, and traditionally we can't do it till we're in a place that we can do it. And so what we want you to do at Sherman College is we want to get you to that place as quickly as possible. And, and so that's kind of the big thing uh, to bring in. You know, there's so many things. And we just tell the student, find the thing that gravitates towards you. We're going to give you the buffet. But then find that piece that gravitates towards you. And there's so many things. You know, I didn't grow up with the Internet. And I'm kind of glad I didn't. But that being said, it's such a valuable tool to see how you use it. Well, then let me go talk to the guy that knows how to use it. And, and different things. And that's what it's going to make massive um, impact because, you know, it's not about chiropractic. It's about humanity mm -hmm. and, and, a, and a surviving humanity. And that's what we do best if, we, you know. And, you know, I'm going to go full circle again with you. Um, 
from the point of us talking right now, from the point you left the stage, let's talk a little bit about your message to the, the okay. audience today. Sure. Um, I was home over the summer. If you see the shirt on my tic-tac-toe board and anybody that watched the movie War Games from the 1985 or so, Matthew Broderick, um, I really liked the movie as a kid. I hadn't seen it in years and years, and it was on the summer. I'm like, I'm going to watch that again. And as I'm watching it, I'm like, that's totally, th this is a movie about healthcare. And so the idea with, with War Games, what happened was you had this kid that decides, i got to find something else coming outside in. And what he finds is this computer program. And, of course, i got to take the strongest thing possible, which in the game was, or in the movie, was global thermonuclear war. <laughs> and so what he does is he hacks into the computer, and then this computer starts running these simulations of nuclear destruction. But it's not just the computer because it's plugged into uh, basically NORAD, our defense system. Mm -hmm. And what he starts finding is let me find, because the, the computer says I have to win the game. And so the... Uh, so they, they're coming up with the defense system or the launch codes, and all of a sudden we're going to have nuclear war, which is going to wipe out the world because if we fire our missiles, the Russians are going to fire theirs back in the 80s. And so eventually what they decide to do is they try to play, they start playing tic-tac-toe with this computer. And, of course, it's running through, running through, running through, running through, and the computer says, what a strange game. The only way to win is not to play. And what I liked about that was, you know, if you need medical intervention, you need it. But for the most part, we don't want to be in that system. But often, then you can extrapolate chiropractic, though. A lot of times, we try to be in that system. You know, we want to get paid by insurance companies. We, you know, we, how do we get in touch with the patients? We want to be seen as equal by medical doctors. I don't care, no offense to them, but I don't, my, my, my personal validity in what I do doesn't come outside in from the medical profession. It comes from delivering chiropractic to people and seeing how their families and their lives and the lives of their families change. And so chiropractically, what I, you know, they, they have the launch code, which is on here somewhere, all, all a bunch of letters, but our, car, our, our launch code is LACVS, Locate, Analyze, and Correct Vertebral Subluxation. If we did that as a profession, we would take over the world because people want what we have, so just give it to them. Just give it to them and, and give it to them unfiltered, give it to them unprocessed, give it to them uh, not remade and, and trying to be something else. Just be chiropractic. Well, I'm going to close out here with Dr. Dooley. Uh, I just want to say thank you for spending some time today on the Facebook Live with me. Um, it was a real honor. I think that the information you shared about Sherman, talking a little bit about how you interact with the audience here at New Beginnings. Um, last thing I'm going to say is, mm -hmm. what would you say to anybody that didn't make it here to this New Beginnings that might entice them to come to the next one? I would say, A, watch all these Facebook Lives with all the people that Jim's going to talk to because there are so many amazing people. I'm looking forward to watching them, and I'll have seen them the whole weekend. But the next one, I believe, is in March, so go to www.nbcairo.com, and you can go look at the schedule and look at the people that they have here. It's just an amazing lineup, and it's, it's just done New Jersey style, which is in and of itself something. You've got to at least try it once. <laughs> and then see it. But I think if you try it at once, you'll love it. And what's important about an event like this is, like Jim said at Dubell, it's not these four walls. It's about coming in where you can just fill up your tank to go back out into a world that, quite frankly, doesn't want us to play our game. And this is, the, this is where we find a place of strength, a place of certainty, and a place of clarity, and you find it here at New Beginnings. And I felt as soon as I stepped foot around this group that I was in a family. So if you guys want to build your chiropractic family to a higher degree and have more people cheering you on and helping you and being like your tribe and doing that mentality with the chiropractic world, I would suggest trying new beginnings and getting out here for, you said, March of 2018. Yep. It'll be in March. Uh, I think it's March. <laughs> check, check the yeah. – I don't work here. <laughs> <laughs> so but, check the website. <laughs> but thank you so much yeah. for everybody being on. Thank you, Dr. Dooley, for you, doing Jim. the Facebook Live and with thanks me. Thanks for all you do. It's a big honor for me to have you, you up here with me. And stay with me all weekend. I'm going to be here at New Beginnings at, in Red Bank, New Jersey. Uh, this is like their 30th some uh, uh, New Beginnings. So um, it's an honor to be here and to share their message and help the chiropractic uh, philosophy live, the science live, and the art live. And I want everybody to understand that chiropractic lives outside these four walls, but having you here would make it more special. So stay with me all weekend, and if you guys do consider it, it's uh, New Beginnings. That's the logo behind us. So we'll see you guys. Thank you so much.